with John Nicholas Sidor. <coughs> Born there in Con River in the October 19, 19 to 22. I started out that discipline was about eight years old. You know, and I did I caught my first eel around around those times too. But my father was uh, and my uncle, Uncle Lawrence, they used to they used to they used to make eel spirits and so I I started out and they, you know, just trying to make them like when I was like about eight years old. So by the time I got ten years old I was a, I was pretty well expert on, on stuff like this because it's only a wood wood and a bit of metal. So there's you know, something no something we was used to just a, <clears throat> There's no trouble to make it. This is a <clears throat> model of the eel spears I uh, we was used one time to catch eels, eh? And uh, I, I just do these now for just to keep keep it in my in, in, keep it going in my own uh, for my own benefit, like it's up you know to show what where we come from, like. But uh, in in my time, we used to live on. Heels or water, you know, mostly heels. We get those, get these in the summer with spears like this. In wintertime, we we got a different spear. With, we would still spear, you know, heels. That was a, our staples mostly. We lived on it all all through the year. Wood we was we call it witch hazels. It's like kind of hard with it because <clears throat> it would uh, it's more pliable here because when you when you go that when you stab to the heel this. It's got to come open there, see? And, and we say it's pliable there. And now for this, it's a, this here, we use a, a fir tree, you know, about 15 feet long or so like that. And, and, uh, and well, we in matter to get this there, we call it dart. We, you probably have find an old, old tub or something with a handle on it, a wire handle on it. We straighten out that and got it. Everything was scarce in these times. Metal was scarce and everything, anything except wood. So that's how we, we make those piers. So it's made out of two types of wood? Yeah, this, this is a hard wood to call the witch hazel here. And this is fir, fir, fir tree. Straight wood, straight fir trees. You yep. can see them all around there, growing around there now. Okay. And what about your twine? What, what type of twine do you use? Oh, we use, uh, sometimes we, we have to get the, not very often we use that was hide or deer skin or something, but we did use it one time. You know, you tie it up with a anything we get because line was scarce as well. But the, they used to get those sub lines after a while in my time. There's a tar tar twine, and we use we use that. You know, or or, or, or marlin they call it. It's a rope, kind of a rope. Anything to keep keep this together. Yeah. Like. I like the I like the way we used to live with them. I like heels. I still like them now. And most times now I go out at night tarts and night you know night time because I you know, I was stand up not too long ago I stand up six hours in the boat, you know? Just uh, just uh, just uh, just catching heels because as I say, I like them and a lot of some people like them besides me. And well I could do it, I will be doing it. I said we we was never drove up for time in these days. That was our way we lived. If it take a day, it was okay, it was whatever. But we just get get it done, so we could have it have it used. But I say, I say, it take you, it take you pretty well a day, because you'd have to go in the woods and get to, get, to, get the the wood and everything. Uh, I suppose uh, anybody could do it. I don't want anybody could do it. Be, but I. Uh, yeah, you gotta have, you gotta be, you gotta have a sort of longish, long hair, right? Not too short. Longer is the better because the more, more pliable, and not too big because of, and uh, you gotta go with the grain there. So if, if you didn't go with the grain, if it was hit a hill, it would smash off, split. So you gotta have, you got a straight grain like that. That's, that's one thing I used to notice was, some of our folks used to make them, didn't make them crooked like that. First, you'd stab a heel, that piece is gone. It's one side is gone, and you finish. But if you if you cut them with the, with the grain, straight on down like that, they'll just they'll just ply everywhere. Then they'll ply. You know, that's 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 what I call special about those things because it's, I've seen so many pairs made and, and split off. The poles, not especially with the poles. That's got to be a little bit straight. That's all.
in the, the dry, the wood. Would the the, uh, the metal well not too much special about that? So something would something that you would sharpen out that would go through. Heel pretty tough anyway, so you got to have you keep that sharp too, because uh, they're not going to get. You wouldn't get any heels if uh, if this got. I had a rock one night and and it is there and I was all night never got. I don't know what was wrong. Never got a heel all night. Hit them no good. And this this thing was just was a slip one side when you hit the heel. Huh? It didn't go through. So uh, I didn't get no heels. That's where I learned the trick of carrying a file with me every night. Never carried a file, but I always have a special file with you, so it's sharp and that dark, right? I usually go as a pastime to, to do these, and, and I've got plenty of time. There's not much else to do now. <laughs>